Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. And thank you for tuning in. I am finishing the Igis Kavalaskis and Carlos Abreu fight in five, four, three. Fight's over, folks. This was a um, disappointment for me. This was a disappointment for me. You know, I've been I've been thinking Igis was a good match for um, for Terence Crawford. I, he had lose the fight, but I thought his power would be something good. I, on my scorecard here, I have it 96 to 94. Now, I just got home from work, <clears throat> like I mentioned before in some of my videos. This show is done a lot of times uh, out at night outside, and I watch the fights on the replays, late night replays of Showtime, ESPN, or the DVR, I DVR them at night. So on Saturday nights, this being fr this being Friday, <clears throat> no, this is Saturday night actually. Um, I stay away. I stay off the internet, you know. And sometimes I don't always answer the comments that you guys leave on the in the comment sections because I just don't want to be ruined. But so I have no idea who won this fight, <clears throat> and. Me being the eagerest, you know, a fan. I'm a fan of him. I actually have Carlos Abreu doing the upset here. I have Carlos Abreu, 96, 94. The numbers don't reflect that at all. You know, Igis was landing more. I just don't think all his punches he was landing was doing anything. You know, his tip tats, his taps to the chest, his taps to the body. I don't think any of that was doing that compared to Carlos is um, control of the ring generalship, uh, making Igis miss compared to his tap and tap and uh, pop shots to Igis pop shots. They're kind of canceling each other out. And when Igis was land landing more pop shots, I thought Abreu landed some right hands that kind of, won the pop shots. Now, I had Abreu 1, 4, 5, 7, 9, and 10. Now, 8 and 9 were toss-up rounds for me, so those could sway either way. But there's really the, the best punch. Like I said, Abreu hit some... What's the moment of the night? What's this? That's kind of cool. Jose Ramirez, since his fight got canceled out. And this is his, his town. He's a big star here. He gave out a replica belt to a fan. Oh, scorecards are in, folks. Scorecards are in. Ninety seven, ninety three, ninety six, ninety four, ninety six, ninety four, ninety six, ninety four. Oh, Igis got it. The house fighter got it. The house fighter got it. Ninety seven, ninety three, twice, ninety six, ninety four. Timothy Bradley, real quick. Andre says there's holes that were seen tonight. What did you see? Absolutely. I see oh, there's some bad holes. Black, yes. There's he some bad holes. Black. You know, like I said, I thought it would be a good fight for Terrence Crawford now. You know, I thought Terrence Crawford would beat Egus. I think he'll smash Egus now. Movement. Uh, Abreu, when he wanted to move, Egus couldn't do nothing to him. Couldn't. He was waiting to land the right punch. He was uh, overreaching at times. Like the right hand, with the Abreu moving, he was able to throw some randomly right hands. It cut Igis in the left, uh, left eye open. The right eye was cut open to a headbutt in the first round. Like that, with with Crawford's moving, he hit pop shot him all night, and if Abreu was able to walk him down at moments and and win some exchanges, but there was rounds in here. 
where um, they were doing some exchanging, you know, hook for hook. And what round was it? Um, one of them, in round six, he caught up Brady, probably his best shot. Brady legs kind of buckled a little bit and it held. Because whenever the fight went inside, Abreu immediately held Egas. There was no inside fighting in this fight at all. And, and I think that's one reason why the scorecards were as close as they were. No inside fighting. Not one minute of this fight. And and when Egas was trying to jab, he was jabbing himself in but smothering him. Once he got so he got so close he was falling in after the jab. So we are, like I said, round eight and nine were toss up rounds for me, but I gave eight to uh, Egus and nine to Abreu. And again, I had Abreu winning this fight. So my my thoughts of the Egus and Crawford matchup being at least entertaining, Crawford's going to smash Egus. So we'll see what else is out there for Crawford. Have a great day. This is the Double RT Boxing Show. Follow me on Twitter at RRTB Show. I am Mr. A. Leave a comment down below. What did you think of Egus? You know, I know he's not like everyone's super high class fighter or nothing, but at the Double RT Boxing Show, that's what we do. We watch boxing because we like boxing. This is a letdown for me. You know, the movement kept the power puncher. Guessing couldn't do nothing, couldn't set his feet. He was, he he just looked completely different. Thank you for tuning in.